Well, hello and welcome to my third episode of Rocket League Adventures. My name is Flying Magpies and I'm here once again to take on another two teams in what hopefully will be wins. As you can see, we've won twice and lost twice consecutively. So now with this try and turn around this season and take on the Monarchs who are right at the bottom. So hope you think this should be an easy game. Let's begin. So a straight on shot once again. Let us begin and jump. And then tap another way. You can see once again they've picked quite nice a quite nice name, Rex, for the monarchs. Rex being the Latin name for King, I believe. So it's quite a fitting title there. Some of my subscribers will note that I did say last episode that I will be doing Twix, Twitch, sorry, in the near future, and that is tr still true. I shall be. Oh, I just stuffed it up, didn't I? Again, yeah. I shall be doing Twix in the near future. Not, not for a couple more days, though. I should think. Um, and I'm still trying to work out all the finer details. When, where, at what would be a good time to actually do such a thing. Should I get more subscribers, that should definitely be something I'll be doing, but for the meantime I shall stick with pre-recording and trying to edit. I also apologise for my last video, it did seem a little bit herky-jerky, just a little bit low on the framework rates, and I believe that's because I did have... I had a lot of things running on my computer at the time, silly, which was not obviously not good for my computer. But I'm looking at my recording right now, and it looks to be going a little bit better this time round. But I need to get the win this time, and so therefore, let's focus on actually putting it through into the goals. The interesting thing was that on I noticed with my game plan gameplay is that when I was on rookie, I tended to get a lot of my shots a lot of my goals via aces. So I would just ace them four or five times in a row. Then it take me a couple of minutes to get one in what I would call general play. So right now as we're in general play. Yeah, th that was not good. So whereas in general play I would not get very many goals and they'd get more. So this I really need to get one early on or face the consequences of losing a third game in a row. And I d we did see the Monarchs were right near the bottom, so we don't want really want to lose to a team right near the bottom of the ladder. This is a perfect setup for them if they're careful, they're not. So... But I suppose the seeding doesn't really matter that much, they just tend to fall that way. I'm not sure how seasons work. If I'm careful there, I've put it in, I think. No, I didn't. So close. And they're going to come smashing out of their goals. I don't have the boost as normal to try and stop them. So let's grab this boost here. Let us smash into Rex, which didn't work. Let And we'll come round, let the ball come round. Smash it forward. Come along the side. and put it, set it up for them, of course. There, that was not good. So, two down, two nil down. We are not off to a good start in this season at all. Two wins and, so far, three, two losses. Oh, have I aced him? Ah, oh, so close, just off the top bar. It's, as we did see in the first episode, it's quite rare to ace or just get, get the ball into the goal on the first shot. Um, on the first touch yeah, against the pros. The rookies, and that's because the pros tend to use their boost, whereas the rookies don't, at least for the computers. So, continue there just... P and continue there pa uh, pushing Rex out of the way and, and trying to line up my shot, but it take too long and the computer's able to get around. 
once again get one minute to go. I'm going to try and smash into Rex, blow him up, get some points. Blowing him up really doesn't do much, except um, except push him out of the way for a, a little while. Thirty seconds to go. I need to get the goal. I need to get a goal, two goals, really quickly. Yeah, that's that was off target. Not quite enough. So it looks like I may have lost this game as well. This is off to a really, really good start. Terrible. Not a good start at all, if you're wondering. We t I tend to use reverse. Reverse words. Reverse psychology words. Just say it's a good time when it's not, and a bad time when it's good, and so on. And thankfully they didn't get a goal there, but I have... Yes, I have lost when the ball moves to the ground. So, not a good start at all. And four centered goals. So they are so something I need to watch for I suppose is actually score and you can see they're just from two shots I just got twenty forty points. Whereas they got two hundred and sixty. And that should mean for the first time I slide out of the top six, top four. And now uh where am I? I am now sixth taking on the four one monarchs the mammoths. So in theory this should be a tough game. In theory. Who knows? We shall see. But if we can scrape out a win here, it'll put me back to a 3-3 ledger. And hopefully back into the top... The top... What do you call it? Top echelon of teams, the top four. And they... Yeah, they're going to score, aren't they? Off the top bar, and if they were clever, they'd have hit it in, but they're not. They weren't. And it's good... For me to come and score, and that's a goal. So right off the board, I am 20 seconds in, 19 seconds in actually, and 1-0 up. I th and for me it's always important to keep the ball in my forward half, um, or try and keep it in my forward half, because that puts perceived pressure anyway on their opponent and they have to they have a lot less room to manoeuvre in but yeah you could see there if I hadn't used my boost I probably would have gotten round and slotted through a second goal because it if, especially if you're good in defensive techniques like I am which I am not then you can just hold up your opponent and they're going to score there again no boost so I can't get to and they've scored not good, not good at all. Yes, again if you have any suggestions on how to improve my gameplay, just shoot them through. I should practice more, but I don't. I just tend to get all my practice playing the same computer levels and rarely against friends. Although that said, just before this one I did play some against some friends who I play with weekly and they did they are pretty good we play 3v3 so they are on my side and I they are on my side and we play pro computers and that sort of that helps me too that helps a bit but 3v3 is very different to from 1v1 obviously more computers they tend to get each other's way more. And if I'm careful, that's a goal. I'm not sure if they touched it and let's not skip through and see. You can see there I just tapped it a bit with my back end and Foma did touch it I believe just a little bit in. So we are 2-1 up and once again with a straight shot jump to the ball so they don't Oh no. Yeah, so that was stupid again. They've I've just let them score a little bit better. As you can see I need to really need to work on my defensive techniques. Um but we can still recover from here. Remember to jump at the ball and they've scored again. That is not good at all. I I need to remember not to miss the ball. Because that that would really help to to 
ensure I actually walk away with wins. The one on one wins. Excuse the quiet. I'm try I I'm still new to this talking while gaming thing, but you can see blowing them up works, and it gives me a chance to line it up, line up the goal, and they they saved it. Yeah, so t I took way too long there to to line it up and score. But once again, I come in and demolish them. Demolishing isn't actually a re the best technique, defensive technique in the world, unless you're playing one on one. Because one on one, it takes them a few seconds to respawn, and especially if it's in your defensive half, so they they will spawn in their defensive half, and you need to they will need to spend some time getting down, and that's missed. Getting back down. So that time, and then you can find yourself up and kick it out of fence. It's somewhat a good technique, but you need to rely, you need to remember to positioning is everything as well. Now, occasionally, you will see me actually just trying to blow them up rather than get for go for the ball, and it's a technique that I use a bit, but not often to great success because you're using a lot of boost you're using a lot of boost really for a very specific purpose and if it fails then you're often let I'm often left without boost let's line them up here once again a demolition but with 50 seconds to go I need to score and I'm not going to I don't think from here so that is not good at all. Just oh wait, no, they've left me a gap. Let's put it in, and whew, that is a big relief. Twenty-seven seconds. I can still, I can still win from here, or I can force it into overtime for the first time this season, I believe. And. I can force into overtime and hopefully win from there, although I have a pretty poor record in overtime. Too bad it just it doesn't set, give a technique for, it doesn't give time time in front kind of thing. I've just let that go because I don't, I'm not going to get to win time in overtime. So the first time in overtime in this season, and overtime is just like a regular one except it's counts up instead of down and it's the first goal at least in the regular I haven't changed the those settings I haven't changed those settings so it's just regular regulation first goal first goal wins um, excuse my silence as I try and concentrate here and win I should have hit that. You can see I'm a lot better on the curves, trying to get it out. And see so that that was not as good a demolition because now they're going to spawn right near it. But I am spending a lot more time in attacking half, and they've just missed it completely. And I missed two shots of goal, but no goal. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, crap. As you can see, I am rubbish at... I did not succeed in the overtime. And I have once again gone down. So, when this actually decides to skip, you can see we're actually pretty close, and I actually saved, but they had more shots, and... I had more shots but fewer goals, so I have two wins, four losses, and I'm right near the bottom.
So, thank you, thank you for watching. Remember to like and subscribe and all that, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.